My name is Christian Maser. I'm a gastroenterologist from the University Teaching Hospital in Lüneburg, which is based in the northern part of Germany, and I'm one of the co-investigators of the TRUST2C study, which I'm going to introduce to you right now. Modern disease management concepts, such as treat-to-target and inflammatory bowel disease patients, emphasize the need for objective monitoring of disease activity to guide treatment optimization. Intestinal ultrasound is a non-invasive, easy-to-use, accurate, patient-friendly and reliable technique to monitor disease activity and to facilitate treatment decisions in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. However, up to date, there are limited data on using intestinal ultrasound to monitor patients with UC. Trust and UC is the largest prospective multi-center study with 42 participating German centers investigating the use of intestinal ultrasound to monitor disease activity in UC. The primary objective was the prospective evaluation of IUS in monitoring patients with UC in a large cohort and under real-world conditions and routine medical follow-up. 253 patients receiving different levels of care, 112 of them with active left sided colitis and another 112 with pancolitis in clinical relapse defined as SCCAI of equal to 5 or more, were enrolled in monitor with IUS performed at baseline, unscheduled in a subgroup at week 2, and then again scheduled again at week 6 and 12. Sonographic parameters evaluated included, for example, bowel wall thickness, loss of stratification, loss of frustration and vascularity, as well as clinical and laboratory parameters, such as fecal cup protectin. Interestingly, 88.5% of the enrolled patients with a clinical flare also had an increased bowel wall thickness at baseline, and this was much higher rate as expected looking at data from older studies. The study revealed that both bowel wall thickness, shown here for both sigmoid and semicolon at all time points, and vascularity were significantly decreased as early as two weeks after treatment intensification, and therefore at a very early time point, and modifications, and remained low until the end of the study period. Further IUS parameters, such as loss of frustration, showed the same tendency, and were significantly decreased after two weeks. Likewise, at week 12, the rates of clinical response were significantly higher among patients who showed normalization of bowel wall thickness. In conclusion, the TRUST and UC study strongly supports the use of intestinal ultrasound as a non-invasive, patient-centric and objective tool to follow up on patients with ulcerative colitis to monitor treatment success.